Move on to Eric Jima, who is the CEO of iWoods Creation. Now, he's invented a foot pump hand wash basin that does not need electricity. It is mobile, water efficient, and it's easy to operate. Now, first, let's take a look at how this technology works. And after that, we'll speak to Eric. Hello, everyone. My name is Kwaku Jima, and thank you for joining me. The fight against the coronavirus and many other diseases start with the basic practice of safe hand washing. We at iWoods Creations came out with this amazing mechanism called the foot pump hand washing basin. It doesn't use any electricity. It doesn't use any water pump. It doesn't use any battery. It is solely controlled with your foot and with, with just a foot press, your water comes out. Made right over here in Ghana by iWoods Creations. It houses two large containers under here which can easily be accessed to either refill your clean water or dispose your waste water. With the right amount of soap and with our hand washing basin, you don't need to touch anything. All you need to do is to control with your foot and the water comes out. This mechanism is made from heat treated wood to avoid wood decay because of its exposure to water. It is made right over here in Ghana by high wood creations to also help stop and also encourage. So he's joining us on Skype right now. And first question I want to ask is about water because you showed us some two basins underneath the sink and first of all i should say congratulations on this beautiful um you know sink or basin that you have created but how much water does it require and I, i'm not sure where does the water stay and all, can you explain the whole mechanism of your basin for us okay thank you very much good morning um uh, the station you see over there houses two containers that the average container that um, it houses now is 20 liters of water mm -hmm. and also houses 20 liters of wastewater. And it's all housed in that compartment you see over there. But you can increase the volume of water to any, uh, to, uh, any quantity. Uh, we have different uh, techniques to do that. But okay. the average is 20 liters and 20 liters of wastewater. I see. 20 liters of wastewater. Where is that collected? And, and 20 how do liters you dispose of... Okay, how do you dispose of this wastewater? Do you have to touch something? And could that not mean that you are also probably getting infected by touching? Okay, thank you very much. The wastewater can be channeled outside if, you are very, if your station is very close to a drainage system. So, um, but uh, because of the purposes of uh, it being mobile and, you, and it being uh, usable even at places where there is no drainage system, uh, there is a, a, a container that carries your wastewater and it has been designed in such a way that the tube that takes the wastewater goes directly into the container without touching anything. You can easily open the whole cabinet, take out your gallon, go and dispose your wastewater and come and place it, but without even getting too much uh, contact with the wastewater. Okay, now how, how long did it take you to produce this? And if you're supposed to produce some more, maybe there's a demand for it, how long will it take you to be able to come up with a few of these basins for other, um, you know, events or for this case, of course, COVID virus, um, COVID-19 virus, pardon me. Okay, sure. Okay, currently with my team of about eight guys, we're able to produce 15 in a day. Okay. Uh, and we work from Monday to, uh, Monday to Sunday because of the demand down. Uh, should we be able to um, do more? That means we need more workforce. Mm. Um, we can increase our workforce to about 100 if uh, we have the right... Uh, we can increase our workforce to about 100 if the right demand is there. Okay. All right. Well, unfortunately, I think his, his... Well, network is frozen, so apologies, but that was Eric uh, Jima, and he was just telling us about his new invention. He's the CEO of iWoods Creation.